Are we rolling? We're rolling. Hey guys, this is my friend Matt. Hey guys. Don't be shy, Matt. Get on I'm in here. here. Get on in here. <laughs> we are in, where, where are we at? Monterey Bay, California. Oh yeah, this is some good, good scenery here. We got this uh, trail that just parallels the ocean, which we're pretty excited to test uh, the S10 Hero scooter out. But Hero's actually a pretty good company. I've heard a lot of good things, a lot of good chatter uh, with other guys that review this same scooter. Let's see how it does with a uh, speed test, shall we? Let's roll. Okay, well, let's talk about power before speed. The S10 does have a thousand watt motor in the rear wheel, and that peaks at 1300 watts. And that ties in size with the eMove Cruiser as far as power. Then it's powered by a 52 volt, 23 amp hour, what they call electric car grade DMEGC cells. And the battery does have 800 charge cycles, or it's rated up to 800 charge cycles. There's dual ports, uh, so it only comes with one charger, but you can pick up another charger. With one, it does take six hours for a recharge. And there's the one of the ports right here on the side. And then the other one is just on the other side. It's rated up to 34 miles per hour. In the settings on P8, you can limit the power output from 1% up to 100%. For this test, I do have it on 100% power. So let's see how fast this can go, starting off with speed mode one. Okay, it looks like uh, 16 on the app and 17 on the scooter. Speed mode two is 26. Speed mode three is uh, 30 miles an hour. Well, that is the fastest scooter in this class, 30 miles per hour. <laughs> And that feels solid too. There is no speed wobble or anything. It's a very solid and stable feeling scooter. Well, the S10 weighs 57 pounds and it can carry a rider up to 264 pounds. I'm 185 and want to see how long it takes me to hit 20 miles per hour. This is the acceleration test. Now in the P menu on number nine, you can set to a zero or a kick start. For this test, I do have it set to a zero start. And then in P level 12, you have different options as far as a slow and a fast start. There are zero to five levels. And so I'm gonna show you first on zero, on the, on the zero level, and then the difference with level five. Zero start, here we go. Oh, and that is very, very slow for the first few feet. It's starting to pick up now kind of stumbled there for <laughs> a second and there's 20. This is uh, set to a fast acceleration. Here we go. Okay, no stumbling this time and it's immediate power delivery. It's got some decent acceleration. Hit already at 20. Well, the S10 has a range rating of 42 miles. Uh, the bike trails, you know, 20 miles per hour top speed, so that's where I'm gonna keep it at. Play speed mode one or two. Uh, I got a full charge on the battery. I've already started my tracking app. So let's see how far I can go. Let me talk a little bit about the scooter, starting off with the design and look. The biggest feature that sticks out to me is the light bars across the side, each side, which are just pretty awesome to look out at night. And then just how tall and high the deck is. I mean, you just up there ways, you got a lot of clearance. And it kind of has the design and look of these dual off-road scooters that I've tested. So the back of my mind, I just want to like find some gnarly trails and take off on them. It's just super easy to manage and control. I'm going over 20 miles an hour, just making these S curves and it's just, <laughs> it's solid. I've hit some hills uh, coming down, reaching you know close to 30 miles per hour, and there's no vibrating, no shaking. It's super solid, very well balanced. And there is zero noise coming from the motor. Even climbing too, it's just very quiet. It's not a heavy scooter either. I could actually bunny hop this over some lines or some small potholes, fairly easy. One of the classic features with all Hero scooters is the BMX style handlebars and there's a huge spread. So again, that just makes it super easy to handle. Then it's got the Hero imprinted grips and they're actually pretty comfortable. Got really no complaints there. There's ergonomic brake levers and they're kind of curved in a way that fits two fingers, fits you know, two of my fingers in there. As far as the stem height, I'm 5'11 and it's just a little bit low for me. I'd like another three or four inches, but it does collapse 
and it's you know small enough to fit into backseat of most cars. There's plenty of room on the deck. I've got size 10 and a half shoes and I can fit them one in front of the other. And the width is actually pretty, pretty big too. If I had to guess around seven to eight inches. Now there's a full suspension scooter. In the front, there's a dual coil spring. In the rear, you have a DMV DP22 hydraulic coil. And then to top it off, there's 10 by three inch air fill tires. The trim on today is pretty rough and I've got no vibration in my feet. Feet feel fine, hands feel fine. Overall, a very comfortable and smooth ride. Okay guys, a uh, battery update for you. Um, it's, uh, when I get going, it drops one bar. So let's say one bar gone. Gone 5.09 miles. And I mean, this is the perfect place to stop to give you guys an update. There's a sill right there going in and out of the water. That's amazing. Monterey Bay, uh, you need to come here and check this place out. This is pretty awesome. My favorite trail so far I've ever been on. Huh, what'd you say? Yes, 100% yes. <laughs> so cool. Hey, little birdies. Ah, don't be eyeballing me. Okay guys, I've lost two battery bars. I've gone 9.57 miles and been averaging about 20 to 23 miles per hour. Oh, it shows uh, three battery bars, but when I'm riding, it goes down to two. So I'm gonna say I'm left uh, just over two and I've gone 11.55 miles. And I have noticed a decline in power. You know, when I, when I hit the throttle, full throttle, it's not as poppy as it used to be with those first two battery bars. Okay, well, I'm done with the range test and my app, let's see, showed 18.41 miles with 478 feet elevation gain, which is pretty, you know, that's, didn't really expect to climb a lot. This is right the ocean. Now, I didn't uh, do some casual nice riding like I was planning on doing when I first started the uh, range test. So there was a bunch of stop and go. I was averaging about 22, 23 miles per hour as well. So more indicative of like city driving where, you know, you're stopping, going, stopping, going. So now you know what it can do, 18 and a half miles, not too bad. Well, as you can probably imagine, not a lot of hills <laughs> right here by the coast. We finally found one that I think is worthy of a, of a hill test. So it's the very bottom here. The grade is 15% and the middle is 14% at the top is 11. Gonna have a little bit of momentum and uh, see what we get here. There's no hill rating or torque rating for the motor that I found. So this is just a uh, short and sweet hill. Got one battery bar gone, a little bit of momentum to start. Starts to climb here, full throttle, going down uh, 9, 10, 11, 10. Climbing pretty good, already uh, to the top. Like I said, it's a short and steep hill down to nine miles per hour through that uh, trickiest part. So it's got a decent hill climbing. I could feel it, it starting to slow down if it was any longer. I don't think I could have maintained nine miles per hour. But, uh, you know, I'm 185 pounds and it did pretty well for my weight for kind of that short, steep <laughs> type hill. I want to talk a little bit about the brakes. The S10 does have front and rear hydraulic nut brakes. And it also has regen braking with different levels that you can set or change in the P menu or in the menu. All right, here we go. This is regen set to zero. So I'm going to get up to 20. I will go 25 for good measure. Then hit them. Whew. Well, if that's uh, no regen, <laughs> that still stops pretty good. Now with other scooters that have the regenerative braking, when I release the uh, throttle, it usually like, it's kind of jolty. Um, the power, it seems to almost go in reverse and the brakes seem to come on. But this one, that's not the case. I can go, you know, 15 to 20 miles per hour, release it, and I'm just coasting, which I really like. I hate that kind of jerky 
that you get with uh, some scooters, some brands with the uh, braking. So let me get up to 25, stop on the brakes and see what we get. 25. Yeah, just the same braking power as on level zero. So I'm just gonna leave that on five and charge up the battery as I continue on my ride. Now let me run you through the, uh, the cockpit here. On the left side, there's the lights. Below that, you got a horn. Pretty loud, actually. On the right side, you got a trigger throttle. To turn on the other lights, just hold down the mode button. You can see the light indicator light up. And then that turns on the side LEDs. Hold these down at the same time to access the P menu. For you on, you can change the brightness of the screen, set to the highest level now. And then hit the power button to change the P menu. P2 is the units, kilometers to miles per hour. P4 is the auto off. And then P17 is the cruise control. And that pretty much wraps it up. The S10 has an IP54 waterproof rating, a one-year warranty, and free shipping in the lower 48. Well guys, I just got done reviewing the S10, just in time to see the sunset go down. That's just awesome. <laughs> oh man, this is just a beautiful place. Um, yeah, uh, this is a fantastic scooter. One of the smoothest rides you can find for a single motor scooter, uh, especially for like around $1,400, $1,500. If you want to pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Also, be sure to hit up my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews sort of by price and capability. So be sure to check that out too. Hit that like button before you go. And please subscribe for the latest in electric bike board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. P1, you can change the brightness of the screen. P2. <laughs>